Hello, my name is Tom Powell Davis and I'm a doctoral student at the University's Department of Social Anthropology and today I'm going to be taking you on a tour of an exhibition. Church and the Ancestors, Sacred Pier Mats from Asmat, Papua, Indonesia. The exhibition is currently on display at the Andrews Gallery at the Museum of Archaeology and Anthropology and it was curated by myself and Dr. Sophie Hotmeyer and Dr. Anita Hurley. The exhibition is framed around a collection that I made during my doctoral fieldwork, which was funded by the Crowther Bainan Fund. During my research in the Sawa Irma region of Asmat, Papua, Indonesia, I commissioned the women elders of the community to make a series of textile pieces of the kind developed for their local Catholic church. While Asmat men's carving is widely held in museum collections, women's textile work which is perhaps the most vibrant aspect of Asmat material culture, is rarely seen outside the region. This exhibition centers on a story that has played out to different ends in many places around the world, namely how indigenous people have responded to missionization. In particular, it explores how Asmat people have developed their own indigenous form of Catholicism based on ancestral ritual life. For generations, Asmat people have negotiated relationships with their ancestors and with each other through ongoing cycles of ritual feasting. Following colonization by the Netherlands and then by Indonesia, feasting was suppressed because of its association with warfare. When it was revived with the support of missionaries in the 1970s, feasting was taken as the basis of a new Catholicism. This exhibition looks at one particular aspect of this transformation, Namely, how an indigenous ritual called the Jimmy Pier Feast has been taken up as the basis of Christmas celebrations. The map behind me is a Pier Natal, or Nativity Pier. Mary is shown giving birth to baby Jesus in a traditional Asmat forest camp. She is flanked by Joseph and surrounded by all the things that are most important in Asmat life. Every year, the women of Sawa Irma produce a mat of this type. It remains hidden until Christmas Eve, when it is painted at the main altar of the church with lime, ochre and charcoal. The mat is then revealed to the community on Christmas Day. During the feast, people renew strained relations by exchanging items which they have made for each other, including Christmas bags such as this one, which combine both traditional motifs with Christian symbols of God's creation. The use of the pier within the church is a transformation of custom and ritual. Where the pre-colonial version of this feast celebrated achievements in headhunting, in which the death of enemies was viewed as a source of life, here the rejuvenation of the village is marked by rituals celebrating Jesus' birth, both of which please ancestral spirits, albeit in different ways. When I was planning to make a collection for the museum, I really wanted to bring something from the church. This was because while Asmat people are famous in museum worlds for their customary ritual life, and we often see Asmat wood carvings from feasts in museums, the story of how Asmat people have taken these ancestral traditions and practices and transformed them into innovative Catholic liturgy is one that is rarely told. My idea to make a collection around this, however, ran into a problem. Namely, for Asmat people, it is taboo to sell items from the church. Through discussion with senior ritual and church leaders, we developed an idea. To commission examples of the Catholic textile forms which would serve as prototypes of the originals, but without the taboos associated with them. Okay. Raphael Epp and Ava Torasime, two senior ritual leaders, determined the contents of the collection. They wanted to make a complete set of each of the liturgical items made by women so that the museum would receive everything it needed to hold a service. They made an assemblage of 12 objects, including prototypes of the pier mats which flank the crosses at either end of the church. The pier on the left depicts death and is hung at the western end of the church in the direction of the setting sun. The pier on the right depicts resurrection and is hung to the east where the sun rises. The women also made a reference collection of the kinds of textiles used in ancestral feasts, 
of which the new church items are a transformation. One aspect of this collection which I found interesting was that Raphaela and Ava made not just a collection of objects, but rather a new type of object which sits outside of both ritual and existing art market contexts. To ensure that God was not angry about the commission and that no harm came to them, Raphaela and Ava asked the parish priest, Father Vince Cole, to bless the collection with holy water before its journey to Cambridge. We are really pleased that this unique collection made by the women of Sawa Irma, especially for the Museum of Archaeology and Anthropology, is on display at the museum. It highlights not only the women's achievements as makers, but also the determination of the Asmat people who have remade missionary religion in the image of their ancestral customs.